Sarah Everidge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this boxed shell stitch. Now this stitch is a very easy stitch. It creates a very open airy fabric but it has quite a bit of stability as well. The stitch is made up of double crochet stitches as well as chain stitches. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone by Yarnspirations, and this is the Merino blend. And I'm also going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, while you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now to begin the boxed shell stitch, what we are going to do is we're going to start by making a foundation chain with a multiple of five stitches plus four. So start by making your slip knot, and today I'm going to be chaining a total of 24 stitches. There's 19 and 20. 23 and 24. Once you have your starting chain the desired length, you're going to start by skipping the first three chains on your foundation chain, and this is going to count as a double crochet stitch. Then in your fourth chain from your hook, you're going to work one double crochet stitch. Chain three, skip three chains and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You are now going to repeat chain three, skip three, and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. You're going to continue that all the way down the length of your foundation chain to your final two stitches where you will work your final two double crochets. At the end of your chain you are going to chain three which counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. We're now going to work some shell stitches all the way across. To work your shell, you're going to skip the first two double crochet stitches and the first chain, and in the second chain of that uh, chain three, you are going to work five double crochets. four and five. You're going to next skip the next chain, skip the next two double crochet stitches, skip the next chain, and in the second chain of that chain three, work five more double crochet stitches all into the one chain. You're going to repeat that all the way across and when you come to your final double crochet which is that uh, turning chain three you are going to work your final double crochet stitch or a final double crochet stitch into the top of that chain three. I'm now at the end of my row. I'm working one final double crochet stitch into the, the top of that chain three and I've now completed row two. For row three, you're going to chain three and turn your work. 
you're going to skip that first double crochet stitch where you have your chain three coming because your chain three counts as a stitch and into that next double crochet work one double crochet stitch chain three skip the next three double crochet stitches and work one double crochet in each of the next two you're now going to repeat chain three skip three and work one double crochet in each of the next two stitches repeat that all the way across to your final two double crochet stitches and uh, you will work your final two stitches in those your final stitch is in the top of that turning chain three for now for the rest of the pattern you are simply going to repeat your rows two and three so your row two was your shell stitches and your row three were the box double crochets so chain three turn your work and into that second chain of your chain three work five double crochet stitches repeat that all the way across work your double crochet final double crochet in your chain three and then chain three and turn your work and then continue on repeating row three and that's all there is to working this boxed shell stitch so thank you so much for joining me on this stitch tutorial and i hope to see you again soon until then happy crocheting bye